I'll tell you, if there's one thing I don't like about this uh, Denise uh, Cornejo girl, Mm. there's one thing. It's the way she spells Denise. Because it's like... (laughs) I knew it was something something small. Everyone is making jokes about that. Not a big fan of that at all. Right. (laughs) Um, But, you know, again, this story has just gotten so much attention. And there are a lot of people who always go, Hey, guys, can we stop talking about the Vong thing on TV? Because there are bigger issues... That the, countries are, that the country is going through. And I don't agree. I don't agree that there are bigger issues. Well, okay, no, let me take that back. There are bigger issues, but I don't agree that this is not newsworthy and it be talked about daily. Why? We're talking about one of the more heinous crimes you could, a person can ever commit. Of course, it's all alleged. And if it's not the heinous crime, then it's extortion of a very popular celebrity, which is still a very big deal. Yeah. And if it's not extortion and it is an a- attempted rape, then we're talking about someone that children look up to and a lot of Filipinos, millions and millions of Filipinos enjoy him and, and all of that. So I mean, if you look at it at any angle, it's very much a big deal. Yeah. And we should be talking about it until we finally get to the bottom of what the hell really happened there. And again, I'm st- I still don't know. I mean, yeah. I have no idea. The, I, I know people out say, are you team this or team that? I'm team truth, and I'm going to wait patiently until we get some of that. Um, obviously, some of the stories have holes on both sides, at least as a, as a spectator here. And I'm just hoping we're going to see some kind of resolution soon and not something that's going to drag on for a very long time. Right. I'll say you guys. Yes, absolutely. Totally I, on board with yeah, that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right, so so if you're not cool with the uh, everybody talking about it still, trust me, me, if I can help you sway you, it's a very, very big deal. A very big crime has been accused. There's been an accusation of a very big crime with a very big personality involved. And to keep us up to date on what's going on, let's talk to Showbiz Bro, because he is following this thing like a hawk. (laughs) Mahoy, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, morning, Showbiz Bro. This is like my NBA (laughs) man. Yeah, (laughs) that's right. (laughs) You're an all star now. So you like rape too? <laughs> I mean, you guys, you guys are really <laughs> offensive. I mean, man. So, McCoy, how much time are you spending following this case, this issue? I mean, again, you're not a lawyer, you're just a fan of Philippine show business, and you report it here on the show. How much, how much of this is, is taking up your time every day? Like, I got ABS CBN news on auto refresh on my laptop. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Up to the minute update. Just to be sure I get every update, and then I bring them to the public. Mm. Okay, great. Wow, wow, look at you. So ganyan generous. Ka, ganyan ka tingin right, pagmamahal so ko sa inyo para sa servisyo. Nah. Nah, servisyo publiko. Yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> nice. That's right. Now, now, Makoy, yesterday, uh, of course, many of us have heard. Now, I don't know the details of what Cedric and uh, Denise have said in their statement. I'm, all, I'm getting all of this from you. Again, none of this is scripted. All, all our other stuff is scripted. So this is all kind of just what McCoy has been able to research. So, brother, what happened in the statement yesterday and in the interview that Cedric gave to uh, GMA? Kaya alam mo, alam ko magagalit sa sasabihin ko ngayon. Bago ko simulan yung news, I'd like to say hi to the wonderful people of Binaka. You can buy Binaka and all that. Don't buy Nice. Thank you, Paul and Maggard, Addy of Pimkex. Please follow them on Twitter, twitter.com slash Pimkex. Visit their new website, pimkex.com.ph. Pimkex, the best place for your soul. It's not new if you keep on plugging it for a year and a half now. It's no longer oh, new. He's plugging right. it while it's still good. All right. Kasi kahapon medyo down na pagkatapos eh. So, yeah, exactly. Na. Yeah. Na rin All right. Okay, as many of us know, si Cedric Lee, mayaman talaga yan eh, di ba? Yes. So kahapon, That's naglabas right. na ng side nila si Cedric Lee at si Denise Corneo. By the way, Denise, ayusin mo yung spelling ng pangalan mo. Tama naman si Moe. <laughs> right. Thank May you. May joke nga, kapatid daw niya, si the nephew. <laughs> That's the one I was saying kanina. I gotta get rid of that. The obvious jokes. We have a higher standard now. Come on. Okay. 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 Yung unang beses na nagpunta si Vong doon sa condo, according to Denise, ay wala naman daw talaga nangyari kahit na ano. Tapos, uh, bumalik daw ng pangalawang beses, ay parang nagpilit lang magpunta si Vong doon sa condo niya. Pumayag daw si Denise dahil alam naman niya na may darating siyang ibang friends niya na sila Cedric, saka yung kapatid ni Cedric, saka isa pang guy, dahil may laka daw sila that night. Nung nandun na si Vong, 
medyo nakaramdam na raw ng kakaiba tong si Denise dahil una, hinahaplos-haplos na daw yung buhok niya at hinahawakan siya no, sa kamay kung saan nagalit at sinabi niya na ayaw niya daw ng ganun. Okay? Tapos, eventually, ayun, biglang nag-attack na daw si Vong. Pinipilit na iba yung shorts ni Denise oh. tapos binaba na rin yung shorts ni Vong. Sinasabi pa ni Denise huh? na may gamot daw na nakuha doon sa pants ni Vong na something na nakakapag ano ng sa sex. Huh? Um, oh. Hmm. Siguro kung mean. may balas. Was it like a cream? No. I, Was I it like a cream or a pill? Yata, eh. Tablet siya yata. Nice. Oh. Okay. Nice. Tapos doon naman dumating yung group ni Cedric Lee. Nung nasa hallway pa lang hmm. daw, narinig na nila yung sigawan. Akala daw nila may nag-aaway. Tapos nung dumating daw sila sa condo ni Denise, narinig nila na doon nga gagaling sa loob yung mga ingay, nagsisigawan. At ang swerte nga daw nila dahil uh, luckily, hindi daw nakalak yung pinto. Tapos pagpasok nila, wala daw tao sa sala, dumiretso na sila sa kwarto ni Denise since kurtina lang naman daw yung harang nung room niya eh. Kasi condo, alam mo naman yan, space saving yan, di ba? Tapos doon na nila nakita si Wong Navarro. Actually, ang, ang sabi nila, may nakita silang isang lalaki na nakapatong kay Denise dahil hindi pa nila kilala si Vong by that time eh. hindi pa nila nakilala pag nila kay Vong uh, that's the time na nakataka si Denise uh, at that point uh, nakilala na nila si Vong pinatakas nila si Denise then uh, they tried to do a citizen's arrest pero nanlaban daw si Vong eventually since dalawa sila tas yung isang kasama ni Cedric eh, martial artist daw uh, natalo nila si Vong then nabanatan na nila tinali nila yung kamay sa likod Uh, sa kayong paa uh, using duct tape so yung kamay at paa okay. nakatali na raw never daw nila nilagyan ng blindfold sa kabusal si Vong tapos during that time nagmamakaawa daw itong si Vong at nagsorry sa nagawa niya nakiusap na wag ilabas sa media yung kwento dahil maapektuhan ang pamilya niya at career sa akin ni Cedric kay Vong si Denise na daw ang magde-decide nun kung papatawarin siya hmm. tapos dinala na siya sa police station kung saan nakapagbigay ng statement si Denise at pinirma nila parehas ni Denise yung uh, blotter. Ang sabi doon sa blotter, nagkaroon ng attempted rape at inaklolit yun ni uh, Bong Navarro at hindi daw itutuloy ni Denise yung kaso. Ayun, ayun nga doon okay, sa... Okay, so there was... So, uh, hold on, hold on. So, so I just want to be clear because, you know, I, I thought I heard say, people saying that it, well, there was no attempt at rape or anything like that. It was still officially on the blotter attempted rape, yes? Yep. Okay, gotcha. All right, mm. continue. Tapos, yung inga nag-decide si Denise na hindi daw niya pressing charges at uh, dahil bibigyan pa daw niya ng chance si Vong na magbago uh, according naman kay uh, Cedric yung 1 million pesos daw na hinihingi nila is bayad para dun sa damages sa condo ni Denise hmm, medyo malaki no? wow yung computation daw kasi nila is uh, around 800,000 pesos yung damages and then uh, niround off na lang daw sa 1 million pesos para dun sa moral damages kay Denise Well, I don't make it like yesterday. Like, like, yeah, because, yeah, I mean, you gotta, you gotta level it up from 800,000 to 1 million. Like, just throw in that extra 200. I got you. All right. Whoa. Continue. Hey, y- yan yung kwento na sinabi nila. Pero may isang line na madaming na- di nakapansin sa sinabi ni Cedric Lee. Kung nakikinig kayo sa news na katulad ko, uh, ang sabi kasi, uh, may iba pang babae na nag-thank you pa daw sa kanya na naging biktima ni Vong Navarro. At isa dito... Uh, magwa- medyo magwawala siguro kayo So I suggest na huh? Itabi nyo muna yung Mga sasakyan nyo okay. Para oh, no. di kayo oh, This is major So magwawala kayo So I suggest yun yan Itabi right. muna Pull over Para di kayo maaksidente okay. Alam mo naman <laughs> You're natin You're really building up your story here I know You're Suspense kidding. Come okay. on Okay Ito medyo wala talaga sa story Ngayon pa lang natin yung report Alam naman natin Na pag binabasa natin sa Twitter Halos lahat ng artista doon po to support kay Vong. Right, Sam? Right, uh, Mikey? I, I think so. Yeah, that's true. Oh. There, there's, there's a very popular hashtag yes, to right. pay for Vong. A lot of the celebrities are very much behind him because, I mean, uh, sorry to cut you off, but it, it, it's there's Vong. so many holes <laughs> that in the end, you kind of have to always just say innocent until proven guilty when mm. it's something like this, right? right? With, yes. with two parties. With, so I think most people, the great majority of people, are in fact behind Vong if you were going to... And I don't know if some of that has to do with the ABS influence because, you know, uh, he's part of that or it's just natural for 
to take two sides. Okay, there's holes on both stories. Let's just go ahead and agree it's innocent bef uh, before proven guilty. But you have something, uh, I'll call you Vong. You have something, Mahoy, <laughs> that what might tilt the, 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 scale? Know, the balance of how people, yeah, how people are going to be giving their opinion. Now, again, all of this stuff is allegedly. And you're just going to be reporting some of this stuff. So what yeah, do you got? Yeah, kung ano nakita natin at nabalita natin, okay? Siyempre, kasama nila sa trabaho at mabait naman talaga ang reputation ni Vong sa mga artista, pati sa mga tao. Pero, may isang artista na mukhang galit na galit kay Vong Navarro. Who? At kaibigan natin siya, Mo, si Kat Alano. Oh! Wow! Hmm. Okay. Sobrang, yeah, sobrang she, I, I, wild I, I, I love pare. Her. She's love, love sobrang wild pare. Ang mga post ni Kat sa Facebook nitong nakaraang araw. At sana maging available si Kat. Again, Kat, bukas ang showbiz bro para mag-explain ka. Para ma-explain mo yung sinasabi nervous. niya. Yeah, sinasabi niya kung nahalalan niyo kahapon na sinabi ko na may kwento daw na naririnig namin. At yung isang, yung isa doon galing sa'yo mo, di ba? Hindi ito yung first time na... Stop putting me into this. Yeah. I don't want to be part of this. Bro, just... I have nothing to do with it. I'm just listening to you. Can you stop putting my name in? I don't, I don't want this kind of trouble, man. Come on. Move on. Let's go. Eh, eh kasi yun naman talaga nangyari. What yung first time na si Vong right, right. na involved in something like this. So, eto na. Right. Two days ago sa Facebook, sa Facebook, si Kat Alano nag-post. Hindi naman niya binanggit ng issue na to, ah. Pero sobrang obvious naman ng mga didaari, eh. Maraming nagsasabi na... Allegedly, si Catalano daw may na-experience kay Vong. At ito yung sinasabi niya sa Facebook. And I quote, Justice from the universe. Thank you. After nine years, karma people, the truth always comes out. Wow. Ayun, medyo digest nyo na lang yan, ha? Wow. Yan yung sinabi niya noong oh, Saturday wow. night. Tapos, nine that, years after nine years. nine years, karma like some like karma prevails and okay, okay wait, so, so she has more stuff. Continue. Yep, yan ang sabi niya nung Saturday night. Nagpost ulit siya nung Sunday morning. Ang sabi naman niya, I think it's appalling how people are so quick to defend those accused of rape. This is why so many people get raped. This is not the first time people. Ah, uh, sorry. This is not the first time people. That is a fact. Wow. That's pretty bold. So this is not the first time that this has happened, and that is a fact. <gasps> now, okay, the thing is, obviously, Kat is not calling out Vong. She didn't say his name or anything like that, and we have to be clear about that because, you know, I mean, obviously, we're talking about a completely separate person who has not been mentioned at all in this entire ordeal. But you're saying because the details are so timely with this issue that a lot of people online are now assuming... Mm -hmm. That there might have been something, possibly something, that, right. that has to do with it. That, that's, that's wild. Now, I mean, is it wrong mm. to assume that she's talking about another issue? Or what do you guys think? Well, I'm on her Twitter right now, and it, she's got tweets like, turning men into boys and making boys cry. Um, she's got, like, she's clearly not Team Vong here. You know? Right, but, but the thing is, she's not mentioned Vong. She's talking about rape. Now, she could be talking about another rape, but it's highly unlikely because this is the biggest story in the country right, right. now. Right, and it's January 24th, so, you know, it's pretty... Okay, so continue, relevant. bro. What else you got? That's, uh, yun, these are a few of her many posts. Tapos, nag-tweet din siya kagabi. Kagabi lang, sabi niya, You trust your friends, don't you? What if one, one of them told you they have been raped? Would you doubt her? Or would you kick the SOB's ass? Ooh. What yeah, do do yeah. I, I, think, I, think, I think the reference there is, like, it's even the advice that I give sometimes when people call my podcast. When people say, I was just victimized by a guy. I mean, it doesn't even have to necessarily have to be attempted rape. It's just any kind of, when a guy hurts another girl, my advice to them is always this. Do you have a brother? And that brother go over there and kick his ass. And then sometimes people go, well, I don't have a brother. Then I say, do you have a friend that's medyo war freak? Do you have a friend that medyo goon? Hanapin mo yung kaibigan mo niyan and have him go over there and do something about it. That's what I say. Uh, it's, is it promoting violence? I don't know. It, it's defending something that you can't take away from another person. You can't go out. You can't do that. I'm not saying, again, we have to be clear. I'm not saying that Vong did that. When people call me and say, a guy did this to me, my advice is always, look for your gooniest friend and have him help you. 
Have them take care of it. Now, is, was that Cedric in this case? Is that what she's referring to? We don't know. We don't but, know. And I'm not saying yeah, that, but, okay? You know, it, right. it, it, it happened. It happened where a quote-unquote friend who happened to be armed or whatever, or, or you know, who happened to be a little bit combative or has a little bit of history of it, was able to do something about it. So, okay, continue. Mm-hmm. She, she has a couple more tweets. Ito na yung malaking tweet ni Catalano, okay? Be brave. We are beside you. Be strong. We will prevail. Take note. We ang sabi niya, hindi you. So take note, sa pagkakaintindi ko, kasali siya dun. Mo, pare, sobrang kaklose mo si Kat, di ba? Ano pang take mo dito, pare? Yes, yes, I am. L- listen, uh, again, I mean... She must have. She, she's, she posted this. Yeah, she posted this publicly. So this right. is not something like this is not kind of any secrets are going to be thrown out there or anything like that. But you know, Cat is a very pro woman's rights kind of girl, right? And think stories like this really do affect her very much. I am eerily worried why there's a lot of personal information. Like when when she says nine years. Finally, karma for you. I mean, what is she referring to? Is she referring to a separate incident or a personal incident? Now, again, let's be clear. She didn't say the people's names involved, but because it's so timely with what's going on, it just makes it eerie. That's, that's, that's the word I'll use. Mysterious or coincidental or whatever you want to throw out at it. Kat is a very strong like personality when it comes to her beliefs, and she's so about women's rights. Super. I mean, like, man, you, you don't... You don't come across a lot of people who feel so strongly about it the way she does. And if there is a personal angle to it, as it sounds like it, because we will prevail. Not not hang in there, girl. You're gonna do fine. Right. It's, we're gonna we're gonna be okay. It sounds so much like there was a part of that, especially the whole nine year. No, I was just gonna mention that. that yeah. And then right, and and then to say something like this is not the first time. This is a fact. You know, I mean, that, that's a strong, strong statement. But again, not directed to him, just directed to the universe. So, you know, who has come at least on that part? Hmm. But as as people of the internet, as people who look at this stuff and read it, it's only natural for us to go, oh God, it almost sounds like she's talking about this issue. Right. Sure. That would so be I don't a know, big man. coincidence. I, I, but like again, if it I, wasn't, yeah, yeah, you know it would be I mean? such a huge coincidence if it wasn't. <laughs> right, you're exactly. So I think I, again, let's not go ahead and say that in fact it is true that it's related, but it sure damn looks like it's related, and that's I think as far as we can go in terms of saying that without any kind of certainty involved. I will ask her though. Again, she is very dear to me, very very dear to me, and you I will see her on my podcast me. on Thursday. Wow. Right, and I'll, I want to know what what this is all about. But yeah, if you read her Twitter right now, and and you know. She's uh, upset. She's pretty mad. Yeah. Pretty upset. And a, a, a different kind of upset to me. Like, it's a different... It, it, it's a, it sounds like a personal upset. But we don't know. Sam, I mean, you're the female here. How take? How do you... T- I mean, what, 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 what's your take on this? I, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to process all this. Yeah. You know, I, I wasn't aware of, of, you know, what Kat was um, tweeting and... Uh, we are Facebook friends, so I am looking at the posts now. And, uh, yeah, if, if this isn't about what's going on right now with, you know, Vong and Nice and whatnot, it, it, you know, this is probably, like, the biggest coincidence ever. But, yeah, she does seem to feel very strongly about, um, you know, what she went through nine years ago. And, I, I you know, I, I just feel for her. I, 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 I don't know what to say. Yeah. Ooh. It's so hard, you know. Like Ma- Mikey, I mean, as, as I don't know. I, I don't, involved in all I don't this? know Alana. I don't know her, but it's um, Kat. it Alano. Kat, Kat yeah, Alano. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Uh, I don't know her, and yeah. I I don't know. I'm still kind of on the fence, but you're right. It does sound kind of like she seems she's invested in this. Like she's she can she's. It's almost like she's relating right now to Denise, kind of like you know I've been there too, sort of. Oof. I don't want to say it, but you right. Know, and, and, and it's nine not years, like I've it's been like there too with someone else. Him. It's like I've been there too with that dude because you have references of karma and you have references of things like it's a fact that this has happened before and, and, and whatnot. And then you have the guy who said other girls have come up to him and said, yeah, you know what? We've had the same experience as well. So this can get – this can turn into something, man, we never even expected. I mean, it, isn't it already almost every day turning into something we, we've never expected? Yeah. And gosh, it could even get 
even bigger than that. So, I mean, who knows? Oh, but again, crazy. at the same time, it's something that I would love to ask her. I, I care about her immensely. And, uh, and I mean, Sam, I, I think you know her personally, too. Yeah. If, if it, in fact, happened to her, God, I, I feel awful. I know. I know. I feel it's, awful for her. It's oh. horrible. You know. Well. I want, and I, hey, listen, and, and I'll try to. Yeah, what? No, nothing going. Uh, nothing. Oh, sorry. I thought you said. I, I said, uh, and, and I'll try to ask her, even about the little details. And maybe something that will be done off air where I'll talk to her. Hey, listen, wh- 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 what's that all about, man? And let's see if the details all add up. Because if it does, boy, we're going to see, again, this one go really, really wild. So she's going to be on the podcast. thanks for the research. Thank you, bro. Thanks, bro. No she, worries, hosts no the, she, hosts my, she hosts my podcast with me on, uh, on Thursdays. Oh, okay. So, so you see her regularly. We'll see. I mean, not see, but... You're interacting. You're interacting um, with her yeah, regularly. Well, yeah, I, 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 I do. Yes, and we do keep in touch regularly. And I have not asked her about this because, again, I didn't know. Any, I didn't know that this was this was what Bro was going to bring to the table this morning. So mm-hmm. right. we'll, uh, we'll we'll work it out. I mean, now I'm looking at it. I'm like, ooh, well, this looks this looks tough. But again, she is very much against everybody saying he's innocent without really investigating. Yeah. She's saying there. No wonder people are getting raped because there is. Like, you guys are so quick to defend the accused. Don't do that. Just wait, everybody, because you'd be surprised, I think is what she's saying. Right. All right. All right. All right. Thank All right. you, bro. All right, bro. Hey, Thanks, bro. excellent research, bro. Good stuff. Have a great day, everyone. You too. Yeah. Awesome. It would have been wrong, yes, to plug your sponsors right now. Yeah. You're right. So <laughs> it's good that you did that early. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Get out. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye. Thanks, bye. Sure. All wow. right. Well... Oh, wow. Let's talk about Otot again because I'm <laughs> way more comfortable about that topic <laughs> right. than this. Well, when did she start tweeting this stuff? When uh, it, a couple the, days ago? So it, it started looks like, developing. Again, yeah, I'm looking at it here. It looks like Saturday night, and I think this happened, oh, what, like Thursday night, Friday, or something like that when all of this started going down. So we have a Saturday night post, a Sunday morning post, all the way up till last night, all the way up to this morning. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, is, I kind of feel for her. I, I bet I bet she was really struggling with what to do. Because I mean, I I've, if you watch documentaries on on rape victims, they really harbor a lot of trauma, and you know when when issue which makes sense. So if issues like this come out, she'll eventually explode. She needs to like let it out. It's been nine years. She's been keeping this in for nine years. Yeah. Again, if if, if in fact it is true, yes. I mean, wow. Uh, again, as much as I can, I'll try to I'll try to talk to her and then. I'll, I'll only try to get permission of what's allowed to tell you guys. Sure, yeah, we, and we have to stay objective. I mean, too, this is, yeah. of course, yeah, this is her, this is her thing if she is, in fact, going to say something. So, all right, uh, let's take a break. Boy, how do you Love get back and, and, and get back? <laughs> yeah, how do you get back to the funny after this? <laughs> Sam, I mean, come on, you're a pro. What do we do? Go ahead, humor. Let's try with a break, shall we? <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Let's take a commercial break. How about we have a positive topic after this? Come on now. All righty. <laughs> We can try. How do we recover? We Take can. a break. Back after this. Magic. Magic 89.9. Mr. World Famous Magic 89.9. Hey, we own the night, by the way.